In today's video, we are going to talk about some interesting facts and myths about the Arabian Mao cat. The Arabian Mao is a natural cat breed cat, which means they developed without the need for human intervention. These felines are known for being energetic, sociable, and playful. You may find these cats in shelters and breed specific rescues, so remember to always adopt. Don't shop if you're looking to add one of these kitties to your home. The Arabian Mao hails from the desert regions of the world. These are athletic and sporty felines who stay active and crave play sessions. They're friendly and trusting, so they quickly bond with the humans in their life, although, they definitely demand a lot of attention. They really need to live with a family where there are always people around to interact with. Here are some of the interesting facts about the Arabian Mao cat, which will give you some further insight into its characteristics and temperament. 1. Arabian Mao's History The roots of the Arabian Mao go back over 1,000 years. It is commonly suggested that the breed originated in Saudi Arabia or the United Arab Emirates. Some experts even believe that the Arabian Mao counts an African wildcat in their lineage. These days, the breed is especially popular as a domestic cat in the Middle East. As a fun fact, the word Mao translates to cat in Egyptian. Since 2008, the Arabian Mao has officially been recognized by the World Cat Federation. These days, you may find Arabian Mouse in shelters or in the care of rescue groups. Consider adoption if you decide this is the breed for you. 2. Arabian Mao Size The Arabian Mao is a medium-sized cat breed. As is always the case, exact size standards might vary. Most male Arabian Mouse weighs in at 9 to 16 pounds and most female Arabian Mouse are between 8 and 14 pounds. That said, many can be smaller or larger than average. 3. Arabian Mao's Personality so what are you dealing with if you chose to adopt an Arabian Mao? Well, first of all, you'll be living with an exceptionally active and athletic feline. To that end, you'll need to make sure that your living situation is big enough for the cat to be able to run around. A cat tree and other feline furniture is a must. This is a smart breed, so you'll also want to incorporate interactive toys and smart feeders into the mix to keep the cat mentally satisfied. Along with being an energetic kitty, the Arabian Mao is also a sociable and trusting cat that will want to follow the action around the house. This is great if you have kids or are a busy family. Your Arabian Mao will love to be at the center of attention. While the breed enjoys being around the human company, they don't have much of a reputation for being lap cats who will snuggle up with you all afternoon. But if you're looking for a cat with an independent streak, you'll instantly become smitten by the Arabian Mao. 4. Arabian Mao's Health Concerns Generally, this breed is healthy, and no genetic or breed-specific diseases are documented for these cats. They may be prone to heart, kidney, and oral health issues, which are common to all cat breeds. So, the Arabian Mao doesn't have known illnesses like other cats. It tends to be healthy and less prone to severe health conditions. This breed may get Arthritis It is a health condition that affects joints and will cause pain and discomfort. It occurs most often in old cats, but young cats may also be prone to this disease. Aging is the primary cause of arthritis in your tabby. Hip dysplasia is also the next major factor to consider in the case of arthritis. Hotspots It is a common health concern in tabbies. The spots will be red, dry and itchy and will cause hair loss. Feline hotspots are also known as acute moist dermatitis. A hot spot on your cat, or even on your dog, will look like an area of fur that is missing. It could be just a bald patch, or the bald patch could also resemble a lesion, with the skin broken and fluid oozing from the skin. These painful patches of skin infection require veterinary attention and result from the cat biting or licking excessively. Your tabby may get hot spots due to food and environmental allergies. Hello! This video is sponsored by Bmix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. 5. Taking care of Arabian Mao cats. The Arabian Mao needs to be an active cat. Definitely invest in a cat tree if you're considering adopting a cat of this breed, and if possible, make sure that the cat can climb up and down furniture to satiate its innate need to explore. An interactive treat toy is also a must. This is a smart breed who loves to figure out solutions on their own. Along with scheduling yearly wellness vet visits, your Arabian Mao will need to have their nails checked and trimmed on a regular basis. Your vet can show you the best and safest way to do so. Adding a scratching post to your living environment can also help promote healthy scratching and keep the cat's nails in good condition. Beyond nail care, examine the cat's ears for signs of dirt building up or possible infection every couple of weeks. 
Also, it's advisable to speak to your regular vet about a teeth brushing regimen that will suit your Arabian Mao. 6. Arabian Mao's Coat Color and Grooming The Arabian Mao's coat can come in an array of colors, although combinations of black, white, and brown are most common, often with tabby-style markings. In more rare cases, the cat has been spotted with red coloring making its way into the mix. The Arabian Mao is a short-haired cat whose coat is often described as having a glossy feel to the touch. Grooming requirements are on the low end of the spectrum. Brushing the coat once or twice a week will suffice. Remember that proper brushing will also help ward off the chances of hairballs, along with keeping the kitty's coat clean and healthy. When it comes to climate, the Arabian Mao is generally seen as an adaptable cat that can usually live happily in most climates, although due to their desert roots, they favor warmer rather than colder conditions. Just remember to always make sure adequate shade and fresh water is provided when the temperature spikes. 7. Arabian Mao's Training The Arabian Mao cat is an intelligent and attentive breed. You may think of this breed as a tough one because it survived in the desert. But, it is a sweet-hearted cat. So, training this feline will be a delight to its master. You can provide socialization training to these cats from a young age to fine-tune these cats' personalities. Socialization Training This cat can be shy and reserved. It may also get scared by sudden movements or noises. So, make sure to socialize your feline so that it gets used to different people. Reward-Based Training Treats can be a motivation to these cats. Offer cat treats as rewards to them if they display a desirable behavior. 8. Arabian Mao's Exercise This cat is an active and energetic feline. It likes to play and needs more interaction and attention from its owners. So, regular play sessions are essential for this agile and curious tabby to feel happy. You can also teach more amusing tricks to this intelligent feline. Providing at least 10 to 15 minutes of exercise every day will maintain good physical and mental health. Let it run in the garden of your home and play free. But, ensure that the yard is fenced because these tabbies are high jumpers. If your home has limited space, place a cat tree at one corner of your home to play. You can also provide them more toys to play with. Puzzle toys can be a challenge to their brains, and chase toys will help them burn calories. 9. Arabian Mouse to Children and Other Pets the Arabian Mao is a big hit with children. This is a breed that will quickly form bonds with the kids in their life. Just be sure that early socialization takes place and boundaries are properly set on both sides, and supervise early interactions between kids and cats. When it comes to other household pets, the Arabian Mao is equally as sociable. Although, you'll want to supervise early interactions between the new cat and existing pets. Ultimately, early socialization really pays off with this breed. Make sure to reward your Arabian Mao for good behavior when you bring them home to your family. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.